It's a blessing to be with you on this Thursday uh, for the word of encouragement. Today, I'd like to go to the last chapter of Romans. Chapter 16 is a great chapter of commendation, and you learn a lot about the people that Paul appreciated in the work of the ministry. And this is a great chapter to encourage ladies because a, a large number of those that he mentions by name are ladies, and it shows the vital part that they had in the advancement of the New Testament church. But after that is done, he gives some admonitions, and then he says in verse 20, And the God of peace shall bruise Satan under your feet shortly. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. That little sentence there has been a great encouragement to me over the years. Uh, for the Apostle Paul, he was in a constant spiritual battle. But he was letting the folks there at Rome, and Rome know that God was in control and that he was working and that the troubles that they were facing, he was he knew that Satan would be defeated. He always is if we trust him. And so we need to realize that Satan has already been bruised under the feet of Jesus Christ at the cross. He was defeated, just as uh, Genesis chapter 3, verse 15 speaks of, the head of the serpent would be crushed. And that occurred at the cross. Now, he's uh, still alive. He's a writhing serpent. He is angry. You can see that. But uh, he we have now the spiritual kingdom of the second Adam, Jesus Christ, and the, the church should be dominating far more than it is, but that's what God has for this age. But we as believers must understand that Satan, when allowed to work, can still be extremely dangerous. He is very powerful, and uh, just like the head of a rattlesnake can be cut off, uh, it for an hour, if you get too close to that, it can still put its fangs into you and still create the same damage as if it was alive. And so you have to be very careful in that regard. And, and Satan doesn't have his head cut off. He is still operating very much in a very uh, genuine way. And so we need to realize that, uh, that there is victory, but it's only in Christ. Notice what verse 20 says, and the God of peace shall bruise Satan under your feet shortly. It's the power of God does, that does it. But the thing that I want to get across here, it's under our feet. In other words, Christ in us, the power of the Holy Spirit, if we're right with the Lord, if we're not depending on ourselves, if we have the heart that God would have us to have, if our goals are the goals that we should have according to the word of God, then as we serve the Lord, we can claim the victory of Christ who is in the heavenlies. And under our feet, as we walk by faith, Satan can be crushed. That's an amazing reality. We have no power, but Christ in us, it's really under his feet. It's a God of peace that will bruise or crush uh, Satan. And he'll do it shortly. In other words, he's doing it, and he wants us to be involved in that. I think one of the great problems is that we as believers just forget that there is a spiritual battle or we get intimidated and just give up. Neither of those are the right answer. We need to be filled with the Spirit, walking by faith, encouraged in Him, realizing the victory is already won. But if we'll take the steps of faith, Satan will be defeated uh, in our life and we can see the, the Lord go forward. And what an encouragement it is to know if we do right, the victory is assured.